Fire! Welcome! Got a couple of very impulsive record purchases to show you today. One, I've had it arrive a couple of weeks or so now. Not listened to it yet. It's one I ordered back when there was all the Black Friday sales and it was out of stock. But it was so cheap for a brand new album. I just thought, oh, I'm going to leave this order open when I get it. Fine. And it came a couple of weeks ago. And then the second record, it's a mail opening. That's just come today. We'll do that together. Another impulsive purchase from a German site that I had no idea existed. I think I found it almost by accident. And um, the prices for the records look good, including international postage from Germany to the UK. And um, a particular artist who I've never collected anything in before. There were some special limited edition reissues for this particular artist. And uh, I decided to get one just to kind of dip my toe in the water. Right, let's look at the first album that's um, visually not particularly interesting, but this was an absolute bargain, I think, from HMV. Now, I ordered this in the same order that I got the HMV 1921 Centenary Exclusive Orange Edition of Fairport Convention's debut album from 1968. I don't know if you remember me unboxing that. That would have been probably early December when that video came out. Uh, but there was another album that I ordered in the same order, but it was out of stock. HMV, to their credit, they kept emailing me saying, oh, we're still waiting. I'd not chased it up or anything. This was something that I paid so little for it. It didn't matter to me if I had to wait months and months for it, really. But I think it had to like 30% off, so down from 14.99 to £10.04 for a brand new vinyl record. That's about as cheap as you can get an album now. Most brand new albums for any artist you're usually looking at almost double that and it's for a band who i've never had any of their albums before but i did have a couple of their singles back in the day i'm talking about texas this is say what you want the collection so it's essentially a greatest hits sort of quite a budget one you know it's a generic cover of the lovely charlene spiteri on the front there and then we get a better band shot on the back but it's a Texas greatest hits. Won't be the first greatest hits they've released. It'd probably be at least the third now, as they're a band that have been going over 30 years now, certainly. I thought for the price, this was up on HMV for $14.99, and then a Black Friday discount of around 30%, I think it was, or maybe even a bit more. Just over £10, and that includes free postage, because the total order was over, I think, HMV's threshold for free postage is either 20 or 30. It'll be 20 i think yeah just over a tenner for a brand new album never played before sealed as you can tell i've not listened to this yet i've just been waiting to show this in a video i uh, didn't think it warranted me showing it on its own so i had a couple of texas cd singles back in the day i had say what you want the i think it was 1998 wu-tang clan remix great mix of their big hit say what you want from uh, that would have been a couple of years previous it featured method man and maybe odb from wu-tang clan i can't remember not sure that version's on here but i know the normal say what you want is on here and the other texas single i had was in a smile which i think was from 2000 love that song i think that might be my favorite texas single still uh, that's on here, so I'm very pleased about that. But they're not a band I'm a massive fan of, obviously, because I've never really collected any of their albums before, and only had a couple of their singles back in the day. There'll be enough on here that I enjoy. I thought, you know, just over £10. Brand new. Why not? And yeah, it took a while for it to get back in stock at HMV, but I was in no rush for it. And they sent it out, and here we have it today. I won't get it unsealed. It's not coloured vinyl. It'll be standard black. By the weight of it, it's not 180 grams vinyl either yeah i thought that was a bargain really a greatest hits or a best of compilation say what you want collection by texas from scotland not texas all right on to the mail opening i came across this site i think i'd clicked a link something to do with a tech moan video that i was watching it linked to a site that was selling records or advertising records and then i clicked another link within that and it took me to a site called 
jpc.de and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because the German language, the alphabet will be pronounced different but because I speak English I'm gonna just call it jpc or jpc.de and I thought I wonder if I can find anything interesting that isn't readily available in the UK at this site and what do you know I could. I don't even know the reason why I searched for this artist. It's an artist I liked, kind of a one hit, maybe two hit wonder here in the UK but an Austrian artist, his big single, I was really liked. I think I ranked that as my favourite number one single in the UK. That would have been either 85 or 86, 86 I think, in a recent music trivia video that I made. Uh, let's get this open and I'll show you. This hasn't taken long to come and I was really impressed with the price. After conversion, I think this has only cost like just over £25. Been no extra fees to pay or anything really quick delivery from Germany so I'm definitely going to use this site again even if it's for stuff that is more readily available in the UK at other sites and I have been looking again and there is things from this artist and from plenty of others as well that are priced really well the only downside I would say to this site is that everything is in German I was taking my time making this order so that I could check that things were definitely in stock. I kept having to refer to Google Translate. Yeah, so that kind of slowed me down. But to get this album today for a great saving, I'm really happy. And this, I don't think this is available anywhere in the UK. So it's quite exciting to get something that possibly not even sold here. Maybe there might be some record shops, bricks and mortar ones out there somewhere that have managed to get this imported. But why would they? I'm talking about Falco. And this is his album, Emotional. I almost picked this at random, because there were other Falco albums. There was a couple of ones that were available for pre-order that I don't think are out till April. I wanted to try this site out and get something that was in stock. The one that came up that was definitely in stock, and it was an interesting record, was this, and it might be his fourth or fifth studio album. I'm not sure. Falco, I like the Elvis tribute sleeve here, by the way. Falco, he got to number one in the mid-80s in the UK and around the world with Rock Me Amadeus. I think his follow-up single, Vienna Calling, did quite well over here. I can't remember what number it got to. I think it made the top 40, though. But he didn't really have any other hits after that, so a two-hit wonder, really. He's a former number one artist here in the United Kingdom. This album would have been the album that came after Rock Me Amadeus and Vienna Calling. Those two singles featured on Falco 3, I think. So yeah, Emotional, which came out, I think this was 1986 or 87, was his fourth album. So yeah, I think Rock Me Amadeus was 85, I said 86 earlier. It doesn't matter. I think his biggest hit, certainly in Europe, on this album, I think it's called The Sound of Music. Hey, everybody give me secret chance to the gym. Produced and arranged by Rob Bolland and Ferdy Bolland. I think the Bolland brothers were prominent European producers. I think they might have been Dutch, maybe. They worked with Falco throughout a lot of his career, much of his career. Falco sadly died in, I think it was 1998, from, uh, I think it was a car accident. He was only age 40 at the time, so a very young age to die. Apparently, he's Austria's biggest selling artist ever. While we really only know him for Rock Me Amadeus, and then he kind of disappeared. He did manage to sustain a big career, particularly in the German-speaking territories. You know, Germany, his home country of Austria, Switzerland, no doubt. And I think, you know, other countries in mainland Europe, he still had some success well into the 90s as well. Got a hype sticker on here. I wanted to get this because it's a reissue of an old album and um, it's on special vinyl so let's get this open and uh, I can show you properly. 
So there seems to be a bit of a Falco reissue campaign going on. I don't know if this was the first one that got reissued on Coloured Record. I would have quite liked Falco 3, but maybe that's something that's quite difficult to obtain. I didn't see that on the JPE site. Is, that, is it JPE? Yeah. But there was loads of other Falco stuff. There was like a 2LP greatest hits that looked pretty comprehensive. I thought I'd get this one because the price was really good. Knew I couldn't get it anywhere here in the UK, and um, I love coloured vinyl. And Falco, I love Rock Me Amadeus, and I think I remember Vienna Calling as well. So two singles I really like, kind of slightly strange, almost novelty, synth pop, a little bit of hip hop kind of thrown into the mix. It was a bit of an unusual so-and-so was Falco by all accounts. I think we really forgot about him in this country. I know Jason Clo, not suitable for mum, will certainly remember him from the mid 80s. Getting out this uh, inner sleeve here that looks like it's got lyrics on. Check out this disc. It feels like 180 gram as well. Got really nice. I think this may be classed as transparent red, but that's not transparent to me. That's just a nice bold. Can't see anything through it red. That's lovely, that. And uh, I think his follow up albums to this so it will be his fifth and sixth album. They're available to pre order and they're out in April. If I enjoy this as much as I think I will, and I don't think there's anything on here I've actually heard, but I just took a punt on it. But if I enjoy this as much as I expect to, I think I may end up getting more Falco from this site because I did a quick search on my usual record retailers for Falco albums just to see if I could get this or anything else within the UK, and I couldn't. I know Discogs would be the way to go, but I just like finding this site. Um, Discogs, when you're ordering from Europe and other countries, you do tend to be hit with extra fees, you know, taxes and stuff like that straight away. But a lot of these proper retail websites in Europe, you know, the fees don't apply. And this was the case for JP. So I think for around the £25 mark, give or take a quid or so, I think that's a really good deal that... I'm so looking forward to listening to this. I love 80s stuff. I like new wave and synth pop and things like that. Like the Falco singles that I'm familiar with. So no brainer really. But Falco with his fourth album may end up being the only Falco album I ever have in my collection. And that would be fair enough. That would be fine. But um, just for a really unusual and good value purchase from a website who I happened across by accident more or less. I thought I'm going to have to give it a go and I certainly want to give JPE another try for other records, be the Falco or other artists because if you can handle having to translate all the information and everything and be really careful selecting your country to ship to and all the rest of it, you can still pay by PayPal and um, it's all very simple once you get to that stage. But there we are, Falco on red vinyl and a nice bargain from HMV Texas say what you want the collection thank you for watching this video looking at a couple of I think really good value records I'm more excited by Falco than Texas Texas always was an impulse purchase simply because of how cheap it was but I know there's some good singles that I really enjoy on there and at the price I couldn't pass it up and Falco this was just a chance to not only get an artist into my collection who I remember from my childhood but someone who I think really fell off the radar quite quick over here in the UK and to get a special edition red record of one of his albums for a really good price from a site that I'd never heard of before up until you know less than a week ago I think I ordered this. I want to say special thanks to all of my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link and my Facebook group link and a lot of other interesting stuff relating to discounts, affiliations and the like all down in the description text box. I'm going to go now and well I've opened it so I think almost certainly I'm going to be listening to Emotional by Falco first. Bizarre guy, legend in his home country and in the German speaking countries of Europe but for us here in the UK it was kind of rock me Amadeus and arguably Vienna calling and that's about it and then he was never heard of again but I'm bringing him back at least in my house and I do hope that all of you will join me next time for my next record collecting video cheers everyone see ya